Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This one is Sunday, May 19th, and we have nothing in row 3, and therefore I don't have any repeat digits, and actually it's not necessarily a logical follow-on, but in this case it's true. Now, in the middle three rows, I've got a 1 that I can place, and a 5 that I can place, but that looks like it. Now I can also place an 8 in one of these two cells. This one and this one force it one of these three. This 8 rules that top left cell in box 5 out, so 8 is in the same two spots as 5. That's a hidden pair. That may help me later on. Okay, bottom three rows. Here's a 9. Those 8s mean... In Eight and one of these two, this one's out, so that one is an eight. Which forces it one of those three as a follow-on. And that's all I get. Now by columns, five is here. Okay, these two eights force an eight, one of those two. The middle ones, I have all my nines, I have no other digits. And on the right, Eights, I've already been placed. Okay, so two is in one of these two in row one because it can't go into those three. I have three, five, six, and seven. I need one, two, four, eight, nine to fill out row one. This one sees one and two, so it can only be the rest, but not eight. This one sees four and eight, but could be the rest. This one sees nine. But could be the rest. This is 2 and 8, so this is 1, 4, 9. That's 2 and 9, so this is 1, 4, 8. Okay, that was not helpful. Let's see, the column, box 6 looks interesting if I can get that down to triples, right? Yeah, because 6 and 9 can't go here. Obviously, none of these are 6 and 9, so 6 and 9 must occupy two of those three cells. This can't be 9. So, 9 isn't one of those two. Yeah, it can't be here, and it can't be there, so 9 must be one of those two. That says this cell cannot be 9. And with those nines and this nine, that forces this one to be a nine. When that one isn't. Nine in column eight leaves me with three, four, six, and seven. None of those can be six, which forces that one to be. These are now three, four, seven as a triple, none of which are resolved. That leaves the remaining cells in box 9 as a triple, to wit 1, 2, and 5. This has to be 1, 2, and 5 must go though there. That leaves 2, 5, and 8 placed, which is moderately annoying. It doesn't help me at all with row 9, does it? But 1 means this isn't 1. That's a 4. Oh, look, now I've got 1, 2, 8 as a triple, and row 1 is finished. One and eight can't go here, so 1 and 8 must go in one of those cells. Two, four, six, nine. so I need 1, 3, 5, 7, 8. As already discussed, that's no help. Okay, those are going to be 3, 5, 7, because neither can be 1 or 8. If 
Box 4 looks interesting. I've got four to displace, but none of them in an unusual spot. 3, 4, 5, 8 tells me I need 1, 2, 6, 7, 9. This one sees 1 and 2. That one only sees 1, oh, and 6. This one sees 1 and 2. It 2 is 6, 7, 9. This one sees 6 only uh, and 9. This one can't be 9. Could be anything else. As expected, I have no help. What about row 7? 1, 2, 5, 8, 9. I need 3, 4, 6, and 7 to fill out the row. And other than that not being 7, I have no other help. But 1, 4, 5, 8 are placed in row 4. I need 2, 3, 6, 7, 9. This one can't be 9. This one sees 9 and 6. In box 5, I have 1, 5, 8, 9. I need 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Neither of those can be 3. Box 5 fills out like this, which is no help at all. Those are 2, 4, 6, 7, 9 to finish row 5. This can't be 6 or 9. Can't be 5, 8, 9. So this is what... These are from 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. Neither can be 1. I end up with that configuration of digits. Now this can be 4 because of this. This can't be 4 because of that triple. 4 is now one of those two. Um, let's see. Okay, 6 and 9 have to appear in those cells in some order. 6 can't be here or here, so 6 is forced there. Doesn't help me as expected. 258. Okay, so these are going to be from 369, 147. Neither of those are 6 or 9. This one I only help by columns. three-fourths of a one, three, four, seven quad, actually, right there. So I just discovered these cells here, along with this one, are a one, three, four, seven quad because none of them can contain two or five. Therefore, those two cells must be two and five, and thanks to the five in column four, I know the order. This one can't be five. It must be two. That feels like a key deduction. Okay, now 5 comes up here. That resolves the 8, 5 in row 4. These cells are not 2. This one could sell them a 9. Hmm. See, well, this is one, three, four, six, seven. Okay, those can't be one. These can't be one. One is hidden. 
in the same box. It's eight, so two, one, eight. Let's see, one of those is one. Not that that helps me any. In fact, I don't think it does. But the one in row one, column three, will place the seven. These aren't seven. Neither is that. There's a one, three, four there that I'm not going to bother watching. None of those are one or seven. Uh, this is a two six seven nine quad, isn't it? So the one is row six is now forced. Three, that makes a three four pair in row eight, which places the one. How many ones do I have? Not quite all of them. I still need rows two and three. There's three fourths of a three, four, six, seven. This has to be the other piece of it, but not six or seven. Oh, there's a three, four, six, seven hidden quad in box five. So that's a two. We discovered that was a hidden quadruple. So was that. Let's see. This is a 7 9, which places that 2. This is forced to be a 9. This isn't. For obvious reasons, neither is that. 3 4 makes 6 good. This is 7 9 in another way, which we already knew. Uh, 4. And three, no. One, two, three, four is out. Okay, these are four and eight. Not resolved. Column two is finished. This is neither two nor six. That's not six. That's not two. That's not two. That's not two. I don't have much help there. This isn't six. Gives me a three, four pair and nine. That places the seven. Which gives me a 3-4 pair to finish box 9 and column 8. So the dark green are the hidden digits from triples. The dark blue are hidden digits from quadruples. Uh, column 3 is now left as a 2-5, and I know this 2 will place the order. That leaves these two digits as a pair. They should be 7-9, and the 9 tells me the order in, from row 2. That places the 3, which places the 1. This isn't 3, and neither is that. The 3 in column 7 places the 7, which places the 3, which places 5 and 7, and therefore that's a 4. This is 2. Neither of those are 7. Sends up as 6, 9 in column 7. The 5 in column 7 will place the 2, 5 in row 9. Three, four, uh, not 3, not 4. But that is a 4. Neither of those are 4. This isn't 3. I have lots and lots of three fours interacting with each other, but the four in row three places eight four. These two should be a pair. Six and eight. And the given eight in column four places six eight. Row two, that places seven. Six, six, seven, three, four. Six, and we should be away at this point. I'm just filling in digits. Okay.
Okay. These two are one and three. Yep. And there we go. Oh, look at that. I now get ads when I solve this thing in Sudoku Pad, but a whisper shy of 15 minutes, I'll take it.